they should be canceled in the same way that the debt of Wall Street was canceled, essentially writing it off as a digital, um, you know, sort of a digital hat trick, which is done in the form of quantitative easing. But it was about $4 trillion in free money in the form of so-called quantitative easing, which is a magic trick that basically people don't need to understand any more about than that it is a magic trick. Hello, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, uh, my name is Aditya Giridhar, and I'm from uh, Seoul, Ohio. It's a suburb like half an hour outside of Cleveland. Hello, um, what's your name? Danielle McKnight. Can you introduce yourself? I'm Lily Donahue. I'm a freshman. What's your major? I'm a law and public policy major, and I'm minoring in intelligence studies. And what's your major? Uh, international studies. Um, can you tell me what your major is? Um, I'm a BFA musical theater major. Interesting. And are you in state or out of state? I'm in state. Uh, in state. I'm from Bloomington. And has that affected you in any way? Uh, maybe just positive. I'm familiar with the area, but it didn't really impact my decision, I'd say. And has the in state helped you out in any way? I mean, it's beneficial financially. That's a lot of what factored into my decision to come here. It's a lot cheaper uh, being in state. My dad works at IU, so you get a discount for that as well. So a lot of my decision to come to IU is based on cost, if not all of it. No, so funny story about me is that while I was applying to IU, I was an out-of-state student. But since my dad works in Indiana, uh, and he was working there for a while, for like a couple years, uh, I petitioned to get in-state tuition. So currently I'm an in-state student. Okay, and do you think that that's made a big difference? The, yes, that did. That played a big difference because uh, one of the things coming into, uh, while, while I was applying was, I took, like, I was thinking about OSU, uh, CSU, uh, Kent State. Those were all uh, Ohio, like schools in o like state schools in Ohio. But I was really wanting to go to IU. But one of the biggest uh, debates I had with like myself and my parents was about like the out of state costs. Like, can we afford this and things like that. So that was a really good break for you. And how did you feel once you realized that you would be getting in-state tuition? Uh, I was very happy because uh, that was just a lot of pressure relieved on me. And uh, also, um, I I did get some scholarships, so like that made it even better that like I don't have to pay as much. Okay. Yes. Um, hello. Can you introduce yourself? Yeah. My name's Zach Vaughn, and I'm studying law and public policy. That was the next question, what's your major? So you're a little bit ahead of the game. Yes, there you um, go. Are you in-state or out-of-state? Out-of-state. And how has that impacted you? Um, it's a lot of money. I'm paying about $23,000 a semester out-of-state. So. And does that add any stress to your it daily does, life? Yep. yep. Um, it means more, uh, I guess, puts more of a burden on getting the GPA as high as possible because then it's worth it. So. What part did uh, employability play into uh, what you what major you chose? That played a very big part because uh, w initially in high school I thought about going into political science and international relations, but the more I researched about it, it seemed like it seemed very hard to get a good paying job without connections mm -hmm. and things like that. So I thought that uh, law and public policy would be a better alternative because I could use that uh, degree as a job. Like I could get a job right after that degree. Uh, instead of poli sci and international relations, which is more degrees that you take before going to law school? Not so much. It's more my personal interest. I've been interested in international studies for a while and looking at how the world interacts. But, I mean, employability is always in the back of your mind. So. Mm -hmm. and that's definitely something that you have to look at because you have to think, well, once I'm out of college, how am I going to be like paying this stuff off? Mm -hmm. So that's stressful. I think I decided college is the right choice for me because I need that training but that's definitely something that's like a source of stress. It's always in the back of my mind that uh, if I screw up it's a hell of a lot of money. So, What do you think is Indiana University's part in making college tuition more affordable for people in general and people like you? Um, I think they should offer more um, scholarships and financial aid opportunities because whenever I applied I didn't I only received very little and I think um, the government can do better at that not only uh, Indiana. But I think for out-of-state uh, tuition uh, I think they could 
uh, reduce it because it could uh, bring a lot of talent from other places, mm -hmm. from other uh, places, and would incentivize students who would who want to pursue uh, their education in a better school r rather than uh, forcing them to stay behind because of a high price. And what do you think is Indiana University's part or role in making college more affordable for yourself and other students? Um, I'd say maybe offering more scholarships on a variety of categories. I think they have a fair amount of merit-based scholarships, but they could possibly expand that further. Um, but overall, I think they do a decent job. If there was a better program out there for you, but it costs two to three times more. What do you think you would do? I think, hmm. you know, personally, I think if there was a better program that cost two to three times more for me than here, I wouldn't be able to take it. I wouldn't be able to do it. It would just be too expensive. 